Hello, Vigo Shadow here. And today they dropped a new event that is going on right now. So the event quest that we have right now is a gift from Miss Santa. And it is an event that I have been waiting for for a long time. So right now, we're going to be getting two characters. Um, so we have Beatrix in the Christmas uniform. And then we're also getting Iris in a Christmas uniform. So right now on the banner, they have the Holiday Frolic Beatrix. And I, I and it's a red tank, it seems. So I'm not sure what this unit is or like how good this unit is, but I will be covering that in a video to see if it's worth pulling for an event character. All right, so in the inbox here, I'm going to go look at the update news. There we go. We have the event live right there with Iris there. Um, yeah, we're going to immediately go into the event, and it's probably just going to be like, you know, every other event, but it seems like this one does have a twist. So you got to play the event to get voting tickets, and you can use these tickets to either vote for Iris or Beatrix. And then depending on the number of votes Beatrix and Iris each receive, you can get these types of rewards with... Uh, Phantom ge or Phantasm Gems being the most notable here, along with Luxury Polish. Um, you only get 500 Phantasm Gems, so uh, that, it could be better there, but I'm not going to complain. I'm going Team Iris all the way. I'm going to put all my votes to her. And you also get um, mission details for vote using voting using tickets. Now, Shadow Wisdom Polish is going to be the, probably the best one here. You got some burgers, that's not bad, and then the equipment boxes, and they do go over equipment boxes right down here as well. And then 100 times is you want that potential magic drop. Now that's something you want to get. So this new equipment bag has also been added to the event shop. And what this does is it gets a lot of equipment. I'm not sure if it's just random equipment or what, but either way, um, I think it's not just, um, it's not shards, it should just be actual equipment, which is going to be way better, so that'll help the grind a little bit with trying to get these bags, I might probably go redeem for some of those bags, and then it just seems like uh, the rest of it's just typical run-of-the-mill event stuff, but yeah, they have this voting system that's going on for this event, which is not bad, I think it's uh, an interesting concept that they haven't done yet. And then, of course, with this summon, we have the Beatrix. And this is what it kind of says. It knocks back enemies and reduces the damage received for all allies with the hidden technique. I mean, it, it sounds pretty standard to me, but uh, we'll be going into her stuff, too. And her magic... Let's see what her magic gear is real quick. Reduces own damage received by 30%. And shields... Uh, she does a shield, so that's also good. Shields damage... Of all red elemental allies for 60 seconds if partied with three or more red elemental allies. Well, the magic gear itself seems pretty good um, if you do if you do get the, decide to go for Beatrix, but uh, yet, yet again, I will have a video on her as well. But let's go ahead and go into the actual event itself. So let's go to the a gift from Miss Santa and we are going to actually check the exchange and see what kind of things you want to go for right off the bat so look looks like there's the ballot box here and these are just voting points so don't get too <laughs> don't get too excited if you see this something like this and be like oh I'm gonna get the character no it's just this, this is just for the voting so there's the ballot box there obviously the premium is locked unless you buy it in the shop there's holiday premium. Oh, this this is also must mean um, the anniversary is also in effect, I believe. So that's kind of what what's going on here. Let's see. I think most of the stuff. Yes. Okay. So the anniversary is tied with this event shop, so it can get a little confusing there. So I already got the premium from the last one. So the holiday, this the one you're going to be focusing on now, this one, um, obviously the first ones you're going to want to get is the Magic Crystal. Always nice to have those. If you get 10 of them, you can awaken any character 
always nice. Always grab these magic crystals whenever you can. And it looks like they have uh, some shards to pick up for the regular uh, Innate Sword Iris. So if you want to grab that. These are the equipment bags that they're talking about. So, and they, don't ha they didn't have the... Oh, it looks like it shows you the equipment in there as well. So that's awesome. I would definitely go ahead and try to get these as well. Just because it's, it's full on equipment. It's something definitely worth getting. And then, of course, the tickets. I actually <laughs> haven't spent my tickets yet, so I'm kind of looking for a good opportunity to use those up. Um, Shadow Wisdom Polish, you never usually want to pass up on. Because um, that, that'll get your gear to f 5, the max, for the SS gear. And, of course, these drops, too. It's always nice to just pick up one, one of these. Even if you don't have the character, I always find it's nice to just have this gear... So I think it's always nice to have one of these pieces of gear because like they did for the anniversary event, they had the event ticket. I did not pick that up, but still, if you were to grab one of these event characters, you'd always have the gear waiting for you. And then of course, you want to try to redeem these phantasm gems as well. But uh, yeah, that about does it. You're going to want to be obviously in a guild if you for to participate in the boss hunt to get even more points for this. Now, if you do end up picking up either the Beatrix or the Iris, you have the shards that you're going to get additional in here, as well as the cores. Now, if you add up all these cores that you're going to get, you're going to at least be able to awaken them once. So, if you already have your the character you're pulling and you get them to A4, there's no point pulling anymore, and then you might as well just grind out this event to get them to A5. So, that's kind of what you want to do there. But... Yeah, anyway, that's the new event that's going on. Don't forget that this has a ballot box feature in the exchange and to vote for the character of your choosing. Uh, overall, I'm pretty excited for this event. But uh, anyway, that's all there is to this event. Vigo, signing off.